Now what we're looking at here is a Nathan Bullseye Hydrostatic Lubricator. It's a number nine lubricator made by Nathan Manufacturing Company in New York. This design is patented February 12, 1907. Uh, this piece is obviously made out of cast bronze. It is uh, a steam-powered lubricator for steam locomotives. I'm sure they use these in stationary service and uh, on steam-powered ships as well. But this one, um, this design, primarily you can find these on steam locomotives. Um, it operates on steam. The steam would come out of the turret on the top of the steam locomotive, come into here. This is a condenser. The steam would condense into the water. Um, one passage passed through this casting here, and you have a steam shut off, and that would pressurize the reservoir and the reservoir was filled with uh, valve oil for the steam locomotive. So, steam would come in here, and mostly it was pretty much water by then, high pressure, hot water, come in, and the water would settle to the bottom, float the oil up on top, and that's what this glass is for, that's why it's at the very top, you can see where the oil level was in, in the reservoir. There is a tube that comes up into the center here, and it would catch the oil at the top, send it down into this chamber here and then you would set the feed here um, it's a needle valve you would open it up a little bit and then you would look through the glass and then that needle in the center you would watch the oil float up and this chamber here would all be filled up with water and where the water would come from inside of the condenser here there's three tubes one for each of the feeds um, it would uh, come down and go inside the casting. There's a, a passageway for the chamber. It would, about in, about in this area here, it would uh, then, uh, the oil would float up. The water would come down and also the oil would float up and then be carried up into this area here where it would go out to whatever pertinence that you had it to. Typically on a steam locomotive, this was the left valve chamber air compressor, right valve chamber, whatever oil fell down out of the valve chamber into the cylinders, that's how this, uh, the pistons got lubricated. Uh, Nathan made a single feed, a two feed, a three feed, five feed, and even a seven feed hydrostatic lubricator. Um, so that's, uh, they're pretty basic, there's no moving parts. Uh, these do have some fancier things here and there, as you can see the valve handle, if you look carefully, it says Nathan Manufacturing Company. So even the valve handles down here uh, say Nathan Manufacturing Company. These are blowdowns for the individual glasses. You can see a little uh, port right here. Uh, you open this up and it can blow down the water inside of here. Uh, this is a plug. Um, I'm having a new plug made, but you would open this up and that would drain the water out here. This would typically have a copper line that ran down uh, to the um, funnel where the tricocks uh, were because typically this was on the engineer side on most steam locomotives and so it was mounted above the tricocks on the back head. This here is a spare glass in case you broke the Pyrex glass that's in here or you had a really bad leak in one you just had a spare glass. You can find whatever wrench or even a hammer. I've seen these taken off with hammers too. Take this off and add a new glass onto this. This uh, this handle here, this is for filling the reservoir. This is the steam shut off for the reservoir. And then the main steam shut off was typically on the turret on the other end of this line. This is also a fill plug if you could get this one off or if this one was easier to get to. This one's kind of nice as well. One little trick these had, if you look, there's a hole in the bottom here. And if you look right there, it's, uh, that port goes through so that once you open it up, if it was still pressurized, this would blow out whatever steam was left inside before you got it all the way off. That way, if it had a lot of steam, it, would just, you know, it wouldn't do one of those deals and hit you in the head or fly across the cab. You would know that it still had some good steam pressure. So, there it is. Nathan Manufacturing Company Hydrostatic Lubricator, a bullseye. Uh, not really too much to see on the back side. You can see the large nut that's used to uh, mount it. And those are the feeds right there, the lines that go to whatever apartment set it was go uh, you had it set up for on a locomotive. Pretty basic. Hope you enjoyed.